Hello everybody, this is Alicia with Alicia's Creative Paradise and I have a design team journal to show you from uh, Sweet Pea Curiosities design team and I'm very happy to be uh, invited onto that team. So um, I chose her embroidery kit and what I've done is uh, printed it on fabric. I've printed the fur the cover sheet that I put on the cover, printed that on fabric, and I'll just kind of show you real quick what that would look like. I have a couple here. So this is one of her designs here that I've actually printed onto fabric. Okay, and then here's this one. It's still on the cardstock. So what I do is I'll take a glue stick and glue the fabric on after I've ironed it and then I will um, run it through my printer so here's one of the ones on fabric and then here's another one that's on fabric it's still on the cardstock where I can pull it off so I do have plans for these on a different journal I just wanted to show you that and it can, comes out really pretty of course you know it's going to come out more vibrant on the paper though um, I also have another journal in the works after this one um, where I took the peacock from that and um, I've used glossy accents and some Swarovski type um, little jewels and it's really sparkly. Let's see if I can get it to show. So I um, hope I'm in the frame here. So this will be the next one. I've stitched this fabric and I've got the pages going and this one will be done pretty hopefully soon. But I just wanted to show you that. I love the kit so much that <laughs> I decided to make a couple of journals out of it. But I've gotten this one done and I wanted to show it to you. Um, so I have a Sari Silk closure here. Okay. Um, I've just took, taken two of her kits. Well, one of them is a sewing theme kit. So any of the button cards, that's from the sewing kit. And then, of course, this um, she had sent in the in the kit she created. She has tags and um, triangle pockets and everything. So here's a couple of tags that I put um, some trim onto. And here is the cover with some beads, I, I mean some buttons I got from Hobby Lobby, they're really gorgeous and uh, also the butterfly from Hobby Lobby I just thought it matched so well I've stitched on here with my sewing machine, it may not come through all the way hopefully it will try to get some more light on it um, I've stitched down here and across a little bit here and then I've put this beautiful trim on for a pocket trim on the spine to cover up my signature stitching and here you can see some of the stitching back here let me see if I can back here okay so here's the back tag um, wax seal button card I've put a couple of little jewels here and stitched on the back some with my sewing machine. I put some little beads on here for the center. Okay. I've used some vintage uh, lace in here. My grandmother's vintage lace. Wait, that goes back here. Um, oh, the this right here is a really large um, safety pin that you get at Hobby Lobby, and it's got little places to add little charms. So I put these little buttons on here with sorry silk, and it's removable, optional. Okay, make sure I'm in the frame here so you can see everything. All right. So, um, 
Here's the inside cover. I've used some white fabric that is a little shiny. It's really pretty. A little safety pin here with some buttons, some trim here, a trim at the bottom, and here's some ephemera. Here's another tag, and a postcard. That just goes in the front pocket for a little journaling spots. And here's, um, uh, there was buttons by themselves in the kit, so I used them for page tabs. And just put a little grommet in there and with a bulb pin, a key, and a bead. Here's them pretty birds. Coffee dyed paper, and she has belly bands in that kit and pockets. These pockets here. Like that. I'll just put that in later. There's another one of those pretty buttons here too. Um, the peacock is just gorgeous as you can see the difference here. Okay. And I'm also I'm doing a slow stitch with it as well. So I've been stitching on here. So hopefully that'll turn out real pretty. Um, okay. okay. And here's some more button cards. And here's what the pocket I put over the top instead and changed it around. Isn't that beautiful? This is what's on the front cover, and you can see the difference, how it's a little bit lighter, but it makes it look more vintage. It's a little bit more muted, but it's it's really bright and pretty on this 32 pound uh, 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 paper. Here's some more journaling cards, little ephemera, write on those. And then there was um, these little spools. So I fussy cut them out and then put them in this little ruler pocket here because I thought that looked really pretty. Also here I just loaded this tuck spot up with um, little bits and pieces and put the thimbles down the side here, which I love the way that looks. Just little little pieces. Real pretty. This opens up. What's that? Okay, and then this is an extra large uh, paper clip with a real pretty shiny bead on it. Real pretty lace, real pretty embroidered uh, bicycle, another belly band and a postcard. And I used the coffee dyed paper and sewed on it and made it into a, a side tuck. There's a bookmark, but you get bookmarks in that kit, and this is in the sewing kit. I love how vibrant these kits are. The colors are just really pretty. Here's another uh, bulb pen with some little odds and ends on it. A butterfly right here that's on this. Just to hang down. Here's a side tuck with some ephemera cards. And this says blouse pins. I wish I had those blouse pins in real life. Real pretty. And I've stitched down some of the pages. There's some more button cards. Real pretty. Alright, here's some more. And you get these uh, triangle pockets in that kit as well. 
here's another loaded pocket here. You get this. And you get these safety pins, or clothes pins, I mean. You just fussy cut them out and just filling up this pocket right here. I think it's really pretty. You get that. I love that. There's another one. Here's an instruction paper on embroidery stitches. Another tuck spot here. There's a thimble and another button. Here's another loaded pocket here. Like that. These right here. Here's all those. I just think it's fun to load up these pockets and pull out all the little goodies. Here's another bullpen. Here's some more cards. These are really vibrant. Here's some more ephemera. There's Mickey Mouse buttons. Postcard. Another one of her triangle pockets there. And this is the last page. And here's the back pocket. I used my tiny attacher and just used some lace and a button on that one. There's all that. And then the back. I hope you love this. I love it. I, I think it turned out really gorgeous and vintagey. I, I, I just love the, the embroidery theme. And if you like it, uh, I'm going to leave the links below to all the digitals that I've used. And she, um, Sweet Pea Curiosities is on Instagram and YouTube, so I'll link all of her links below. And I can't wait for next month to create another journal for her design team. And I just want to thank you so much for all your support and also make an announcement that I am getting close to 500 subscribers, which I'm very uh, thankful for and I think it's, it's just amazing. So I'll be give, doing a giveaway. So in the next couple of videos, I'll come out with what the giveaway will be and how to do it and all of that. I'm real excited. And so I'll see you on the next video. Uh, like, share, subscribe, let me know in the comments what you think, and we'll see you on the next video.